Hello there. This is the second part of the three part video series showing us receiving the first dose of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine and will also explain any side effects that we experienced after the first dose. As explained in the first part video, I got the Pfizer first dose vaccination appointment for April 12th and my wife got the appointment for April 13th. Then on April 12th, we drove to the Walgreens in Woodward Avenue, arrived about 10 minutes early. We walked into the store with our face masks on and went to the pharmacy. There were no other customers at the pharmacy, so they took us right away. We explained the reason we were there. They asked for our appointment confirmation, our ID and insurance. We had all these readily available to present and the Walgreens associate verified in their computer system. We had the appointment and then entered our data into the system. While they were entering the data, we were asked a few vaccination and COVID-19 related questions like were we sick that day or in the past several days, have we had reactions to vaccine before, etc. Then after about 10 minutes or so, when the data entry and confirmation was complete in their system, we got our ID and insurance card back and they printed the consent form again with the data they entered and asked us to sign again. Once we signed, we were asked to wait till they got the vaccine from their back room. Then we explained that my wife had the appointment the next day evening and if they had any available extra vaccination doses that day itself for her also. After discussing with the pharmacist and checking their system, they had few cancellations that day and wanted us to wait till the last appointment of the day was over and if still there is no shows, they can administer that vaccine to my wife. Since it was almost the end of the day, we agreed to wait. Then the pharmacist emerged with the vaccine syringe, applied hand sanitizer to his hands, explained I was about to get the Pfizer dose 1 COVID-19 vaccination and handed me my CDC vaccination record card with the COVID vaccine name, lot number and vaccination date. Uh, it is The card is shown over here. He also gave me some reading material about the vaccine fact sheet and an optional CDC's smartphone based VSAFE after vaccination health survey. Then I got my first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine and the pharmacist asked me to wait for about 15 minutes to make sure there were no adverse reactions. It took about one minute from the time the pharmacist emerged with the syringe till my vaccination was over. So it was real fast. The reading material which was about six pages explains COVID-19 and its symptoms, Pfizer vaccine and its ingredients, possible side effects and remedies, people who must first consult their healthcare provider before getting the vaccine and other such useful information. The other thing the reading material also highlighted was the fact that there is currently no United States Food and Drug Administration approved vaccine to prevent COVID-19. But Vaccines like the Pfizer vaccine is authorized by the Food and Drug Administration for emergency use for individuals 16 years of age and older to prevent COVID-19 under an emergency use authorization directive. This was interesting. Then while we, while we were waiting, the next vaccine appointment came in and after their vaccination, the pharmacist explained that was the last scheduled vaccine for the day and due to earlier cancellations, an extra Pfizer COVID-19 vaccination dose was available for my wife if we are still interested. We obviously agreed 
and then my wife also got her first dose of the Pfizer COVID vaccine and this pretty much followed the same sequence as for my vaccination. Then we waited for another 15 minutes and then thanked the pharmacist and asked about our second dose appointment. My appointment was secure but since my wife got the vaccine earlier, her original appointment was cancelled and it was explained that, this, that the system will automatically send us a reminder via text or email of her second dose three weeks later, actually one day earlier than three weeks. The pharmacist also explained that we have a three week window after the scheduled three weeks to get our Pfizer second dose to still meet the vaccine maker recommendation. We will for sure post another video after we get our second dose and also explain how that process went. We then left the Walgreens stores. It took us about 45 to 50 minutes from the time we parked at the store till the time we were back in the car and started to leave. This time includes all the required paperwork, both of us getting the vaccine and the required observation wait time. Obviously, we already had our paperwork filled in beforehand, which I think definitely helps save several minutes. The other thing to mention was the receipt we got after vaccination. It showed that the retail price of the vaccine is $2.59, which was covered by our insurance. The Walgreens vaccination consent form shown before has a place to mention if you do not have insurance just for the COVID-19, which makes me believe that you can still get the vaccination even if you do not have insurance. The entire time we were in the store, everyone including store employees and customers were wearing masks and were appropriately socially distanced. The vaccine waiting area and observation waiting area, in this case both were the same for us, had few chairs and they were also appropriately socially distanced. Also several times in the 45 minutes or so we were there, the public address system reminded of mask wearing, social distancing, etc. So we felt safe and overall we were happy and did not have any complaints. Now we will describe our side effects, which is the reason we waited for over a week before posting this video. Actually, both of us had mild to moderate side effects. I will explain my side effects and then my wife will explain hers. The night of the vaccination, while I did sleep the entire night, I woke up a few times but then went right back to sleep. This is usually not normal for me. The next morning, I had some mild muscle soreness in the vaccinated arm. This was felt especially when I raised my arms higher and back like when pulling pants up during wearing them. The soreness increased a little bit as the day went on. I was still able to carry on my daily activities even though a little sluggishly. The day after there was some mild constipation and some mild headache while the muscle soreness subsided. The third day most of the symptoms were gone with the mild constipation still continuing. The fourth day, all symptoms fully cleared up. So, overall, the side effects were mild for me and I was able to do all of my normal activities. Now, my wife will explain her side effects. Hi there. The side effects I experienced were very similar to my husband's. Except on the second day, my headache was more intense and I also had a feeling of nausea. I had to take Tylenol and go to bed a little earlier than usual that night. Other than this, all the other side effects were same as what my husband already described. 
again by the fourth day all the symptoms fully cleared up this concludes part 2 of the three part video series and we hope this video along with the part 1 video helps someone out there thinking about getting their COVID-19 vaccination to know the vaccination process from start to finish, thereby helping to reduce the anxiety associated with it. Together, we can do our small part to hopefully bring back normalcy to our lives and communities. Thanks again for watching and we will update after our second vaccination dose. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell feature so that you will not miss out on our future videos. In the meantime, goodbye and stay safe and healthy.